Now taking a look at the plastic nut that's broken, this is it here, you can glue it but to give it strength you really need some kind of metal around the outside. Because of these flaps, what I've decided is to drill some holes in the bottom of the flap and wrap wire around the outside to give it strength. What I want to do is I'm going to glue the plastic first and then later I'm going to put something around it to hold it and make it stronger. What I did was I tightened the joint so it opened it up to let me get the glue in. A tip to get rid of the excess glue that's spilt out, you can actually use a sharp blade and just very, very gently so you don't scratch the original surface. And it even I can even get it off metal that, as long as I'm very gentle. To give it the strength that I need, I'm going to wrap it with this communications hookup wire. It doesn't really matter which wire you have. The criteria is that it wants to be a single strand, not multi-strand, and it wants to be quite thin. The length of this wire is 2.8 meters. Now this wire has already been is all twisted. And I'll show you a trick to get that untwisted is you just use your drill. And make sure it's going the right direction, which it is, and then you untwist it. Now the plastic doesn't really serve much purpose for the wire, so I'm going to strip the wire plastic off. I've got this one here, which is, which is normally used for this kind of wire. And what you do is you have to cut it off, you have to bring it off in sort of stages. You can't just do it all in one big go. For this size drill, I've got a number of drills I've used for drilling circuit boards, PC boards. And all I need to do is find one the same thickness as the wire. So if I set the caliber to the wire, something a bit bigger than that. So these ones here are bigger. To drill the plastic nut, it's easier to have the drill still and hold the nut because it's nice and light. Um, it's so easy to break these drill bits. And also these drill bits need to turn fast as well because they're very small. Uh, it's important that we, we drill where, where the nut is going to be pressurized. So that's going to be here. So the drill here. And again. And just keep drilling right next to each hole. You want these holes to join together, so the way to do that is now to drill it again, but on a a 45 degree angle and what that will do is that will start drilling, drilling through and joining the holes. What I'm trying to do is I need to cut out all these holes so that they all join together and so I'm now going to use a Stanley knife to help cut the, the, um, the joints between the holes now one thing I learned about plastic is you've got to be very careful cutting it. It's hard to cut, you put a lot of pressure and the next minute you slip and you cut yourself. Bad news really. With persistence you should be able to get two 12, 12 millimeter long slots on each side. Once you have cut it out with a Stanley knife to put your drill right on the edge and just go back and forth. Keep the, not too much pressure you'll just break the drill. Now that you've got the slot it's time to bind it just got a little bit of tape so we can keep the end without going off on a little trip somewhere and now we just want to go round and round 
that when you finish winding, you should have the loop covered with your with your wire, and that's the wire should be flat, and it's like a spring. It just goes around. And if you want to find out some more details about what I've done here, um, search on the internet for timber hitch, because that's very um, because that's really what it is, a timber hitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the end that's finished in the actual, in this hole here. So first of all, I'll cut the wire to a manageable length. And then thread the wire through this hole. And then you pull on the starting point. And what that does is to pull the, the end point underneath the coils so that it doesn't come undone. So we'll get that. To finish it off, I decided to put Loctite on the outside of the wire and fill it all in so that it all holds the wire together. The problem is that if you don't put something on it like this, the wire is going to come apart and you it might all un un unravel and also it'll give it extra strength 